Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Konstantin. I work for IBM Germany, and I'm also a Red Hat partner engineer. And for the last two and a half years, I was working on uh, enabling uh, OpenShift service mesh on uh, S390X architecture. And in my presentation, I'm going to share my experience about that. So uh, first, I will uh, make a quick overview of uh, service mesh architecture. Then I will talk about the differences in implementation on x86 and S390X platform. I will also talk about the features that were previously be, uh, were enabled only on x86, uh, such as Luajit and uh, Wasm filters. We'll talk about boring SSL library replacement, and we'll talk about uh, future and en possible enhancement. So what is a service mesh? Service mesh is a dedicated infrastructure layer in a microservice architecture that enable you to, uh, to add cap uh, capabilities like uh, traffic manager, management, observability, and security without adding them uh, directly in your code. So therefore, the microservice developer can focus on business logic only. Uh, so the main component of uh, service mesh is Envoy proxy. Uh, uh, that uh, runs in a sidecar container alongside uh, each microservice ra rather than within them. And uh, those sidecar containers form uh, a mesh network. So currently, the, there are three uh, implementations of Envoy are available. First one is upstream Envoy. Uh, it is used as a base for Istio service mesh. Uh, and based on Warren SSL lab library. Uh, the next one is Maestro Envoy. Uh, it is used as a base for uh, OpenShift service mesh product by Red Hat. And uh, the main and the biggest change in comparison with upstream Envoy, is, uh, it is a fork of upstream Envoy. And the main biggest change is uh, uh, that Warren SSL library is replaced with OpenSSL. And there are uh, uh, also changes that enable build on uh, other than H6 platforms, such as S390X and PowerPC. And uh, the third one, uh, on Envoy-OpenSSL, uh, Envoy uh, it is also based on OpenSSL, but uh, the Boring SSL library is replaced with OpenSSL using more advanced technical solution. I will mention it in the next slides. But currently, uh, the status of this project is work in progress, and there are no uh, working versions for any platforms. Um, so uh, Envoy is written in C++, and Bazel is used as a build system. Uh, it has uh, approximately 60 external uh, dependencies, and each of them is a separate uh, open source repos repository. Uh, some of them are pretty big and well-known, such as Google V8 JavaScript engine. Uh, uh, so uh, from the security perspective, the Envoy build is, done, is being done in an offline environment, uh, and all code, uh, including Envoy itself, on all of these dependencies are being built from source without using any pre-built libraries or binaries. And so the build takes more than one hour, depends on the hardware available on, a, on the build machine. So what is S390X platform? S390X is a Linux operating system that is compiled to run on IBM mainframe computers. And uh, there are situations in which uh, the code uh, that is compiled on x 6 and it, it just works, and if we are trying with, to compile this code and run on S390X, it crashes. So the, the most frequent uh, reason of such crashes is uh, different in engines, which is the uh, order of bytes in computer memory. So S390X is big engine, X, X6 is little engine. Uh, another type of problems that we have on S390X is C compiler errors specific to S390X. So uh, the build is specifically configured in, in that way so that every, uh, most of warnings are considered as errors. 
And here uh, you can see the example, one real example for, of such errors and the root cause is uh, that character types may be different on different platforms, signed or unsigned. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, the last uh, type, uh, class of problems is basil build errors and uh, uh, they happen uh, they happen bef uh, because of uh, uh, some of basil tool chain do not support s390x or don't have binaries available for s390x so uh, by design all uh, communications between the microservices are encrypted and boring SSL is used in upstream envoy uh, as TLS library. Uh, so uh, Boring SSL is a fork of Google's fork of uh, OpenSSL and the problem is it is not supported on S390X and uh, uh, its community doesn't accept any S390X changes and uh, Envoy community doesn't want to support OpenSSL in addition to Boring SSL. so on S390X we have to use either this one or this one the implementation and the last one it is not ready so currently Maestro Envoy is being the difference between them is how uh, OpenSSL is replaced so in Maestro Envoy um, all uh, calls to Boring SSL methods and all headers and all, all uh, everything is being replaced manually by uh, by Red Hat Envoy team and uh, this is a huge amount of work uh, and uh, to reduce uh, this amount of work for each release uh, currently is, uh, this project Envoy OpenSSL is being developed so the main idea is uh, to have so-called compatibility layer for Boring SSL to Open SSL. Uh, so it, it provides an implementation of Boring SSL APIs uh, sufficient enough to build Envoy uh, against uh, it. Um, uh, so there is a mapping between Boring SSL and Open SSL method and when Envoy calls some Boring SSL method then corresponding Open SSL method is loading dynamically from OpenSSL shared library. So using DL open uh, uh, C function and uh, others. You can, you can read more details by clicking this link. So um, initially uh, GCC was used as, as a main build tool in Envoy, but about two years ago, uh, 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 the, the community changed the build tools and they switched to LLVM, Clunk, and LLD as a linker. And this caused a lot of problems on S390X because uh, LLD is not supported on S390X, so we had to switch to LD.gold. And uh, there were uh, more problems. Uh, for example, integrated assembler wasn't supported. We have to disable, had to disable it on S390X then we had to define manually missing types, uh, numeric types, replace them with the existing double or float uh, in Clang. And uh, we have to fix uh, new S390X specific warnings by either changing code or disable, uh, disabling the, those warnings. Um, so here is the summary of uh, Envoy dependencies that, that were changed or replaced. Uh, to, uh, to enable the build on S390X. Uh, so first, Boring SSL is replaced with Open SSL. Uh, another, uh, uh, another project is uh, Luajit, is a compiler uh, for Envoy filters uh, on uh, Lua language. Uh, it was replaced with Luajit 2, which is uh, Open REST implementation fork of Luajit, and it supports S390X. Uh, uh, another problem was NTLR parser dependency. We have found a bug that when uh, passing incor deliberately incorrect string uh, to input as an input, uh, Envoy crashed uh, and parser crashed. So the, the, by uh, debugging points to some internal functions within 
uh, libstdc++ string uh, uh, and I, uh, I couldn't find, uh, find the root cause, but uh, I could find to only walk around to disable uh, uh, string length optimization during the build. And uh, now if hacker uh, passes incorrect input, Envoy won't crash on S390X. Uh, so uh, another change was to Google Kish and in its HTTP2 implementation by uh, fixing NDNS problem by swapping bytes. And uh, uh, the last change was to on web, WebAssembly extensions. So uh, WebAssembly or WASM is a portable binary format for executing code. And uh, it is run in a memory safe, uh, safe uh, sandbox. Uh, so, uh, uh, user ca can write filters in, uh, in, in uh, and uh, or compile them and dy dynamically load into Envoy as a WASM modulus with, uh, without stopping Envoy or rebuilding. So currently on S390X, uh, we support two, uh, two WASM runtimes, Google V8 JavaScript engine and WASM time. And to support them, we, uh, we had to change proxy wasm uh, Envoy dependency. Let me tell a little bit more about that. Uh, so initially, uh, when we tried to build wasm modules on S390X, we got first build problem, because we could build uh, using uh, only uh, extensions written in Rust language, and we couldn't build uh, extensions written in C++ that, uh, because uh, it requires EM script and toolkit, which is not supported on S390X. But uh, even if we build them on x86 and copy WASM modules to S390X, we uh, experienced a crash, a WASM VM crash. After an investigation, the problem was that WASM module always by design uh, keeps all instructions in little engine format on any platform. And uh, wa uh, WASM runtimes, uh, for example, Google V8, uh, su uh, supports this on S390X, but Envoy Proxy WASM didn't support it. And I had to find all places uh, that serialize this serialized data to WASM module and read uh, that reads or writes data from O2 was a module between, module between proxy wasm extension and wasm vm and uh, proxy wasm uh, maintainers were s390x friendly after several code reviews and several pull requests uh, they finally accepted all changes so that now uh, wasm extensions are supported in envoy on s390x you can read more detail by clicking this link. So uh, for now, almost all features that are enabled on x86 are supported on S390X, but the, uh, we can improve something. Uh, if we enable AM script on, on S390X, then we could uh, build and run all tests from on master Envoy repository, including building WASM in any language. In, uh, and uh, uh, the next improvement could be the real fix, providing real fix instead of walk around for NTLR4 parser. Then also uh, uh, contribute to Envoy Open SSL implementation uh, and uh, monitor the development of Ambient Mesh, which is a new proxy in Istio organization and uh, there is no working version currently, but it is still under uh, under active development. Okay, so uh, that's all. Now almost all features are supported on S390X, but uh, the uh, permanent maintenance work is required because every day a new changes are being added to Envoy and uh, and to its dependencies, and potentially any of this change can break S390X build. So thank you for listening. Uh, <laughs> so.
So if you have new questions, you can find me later.